<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Kerr. Welcome back to the Subnautica Below Zero Let's Play. Last episode, uh, I believe it was the episode we got the sea truck modules uh, upgraded and put on. The one to collect the fishies and the bun for the sleeping. Um, we have the pilot last known location, we have the architect artifact. Uh, I think the biggest issue that's stopping me right now, if I remember correctly, is that this thing still has very little hull strength. Pretty sure this thing can still only go so deep. How far, how far down does this go right now? 300. Yeah, we need to get the hull upgrade. That's what we're trying. I'm trying to think of what I was doing last episode. It's uh, it's been a couple weeks since I recorded. Um, and obviously, as you guys know, some things uh, did not get uploaded when they should have. Uh, obviously some things should have been uploaded at certain times and all that. Um, but hey, you know, that happens sometimes. Uh, where the hell? There's my water. So much water. So much food. Um, and this is the nicest thing about this. I'm you can tell I'm a lot better set up in this than I was in uh, Subnautica because I actually have a, a decent supply of food now. Got my penguins there. Got this locker. Random shit. Alright. It's the upgrade station. Oh no, it's the modification station. Okay, so we need two rubies, enamel glass, sea truck depth upgrade Mach 1. Oh, wait, no. We need the Mach 1. What the fuck did I make the Mach 1 at? Okay, I need plasteel and, enamel and two enamel glass. Advanced materials. Oops. So that's a diamond, a glass, and lead. Okay. Just me to that. One of that. Uh, need that. We need that. Do I make it up here? I'm very confused because I swear to God the the upgrades for all that stuff were made in the modification station. Oh, I need two naval class. Whoops, I only made one. Oh yeah, it's my scanner room. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember where to make this. I thought I had, because I'm pretty sure I had the thing unlocked for it. Oh, I do. I, I, it would have shown up if I had just, you know, made... That's why it didn't show up, is because I didn't actually have the thing yet. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, what do I need for the Mach 2? Enamel glass, two rubies, and synthetic fibers. How do I make the synthetic fibers? 
Ruby and Spiral Plant Clipping. I think that's what I don't have is the Spiral Plant Clipping. So I think we're going to have to wait on that one, sadly. But, ooh, that battery's getting low. But we do officially now have, um, okay. We do officially have the, uh, Depth Module Mach 1. Might as well just swap those out for fresh batteries. Alright, that was weird. It was glitching the fuck out right there. I don't know why I just did that. Okay. How do I put the upgrade in here, though? There it is. Oh. Wait, I already have it? What? Oh my god, what? How is it only 300 if I already have it? I'm very confused right now. How is that only 300 with the death module? What? Hold up. Oh, that's terrible. That's right. I forgot. This thing doesn't go very deep at, at the start. It's pretty terrible. All right, so we do need to get to the... Fuck, we actually need to find spiral plant clippings then. It's not these things, is it? No, okay. I had to check. <sighs> I'm an idiot, by the way, guys. I can't believe I made another sea truck depth module when I already had it. I guess the good news is I can just use the other one to make the second leveled one, but... I don't think these are them. I'm looking at a picture of them right now so I can try to figure out what they look like. Yeah, okay, those aren't them. our best to try to find one of these biomes so I can get this thing and upgrade to Mach 2 depth module. I think I have enough rubies for it. I think that one brought me down to the deep purple vents, which is one of the biomes you can find it at. Oh, Jesus. I'm hitting the shit again. scary I'm gonna pass the big scary thingy there I still don't know the name of that thing I, I 
Or I think I do, I just don't remember what it is. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. So it meant there should be one in somewhere. There should be some stuff from them. Okay, there's one of those dudes. Those dudes will attack you, by the way, for those of you who don't know. So it's best to just kind of stay out of their way. Lord and Savior, the Moon Pool. Is that titanium? Oh my God, there's a titanium cluster. Holy shit! Oh the fuck, they they brought a titanium cluster up on that. That's insane. Don't have the floodlights. Unlock those. I never used those, by the way, in Subnautica One. If you guys didn't notice, at rock grubs. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, hello. I will happily take you. Can I open this? No, I can't. Hmm. Okay. Part of me, like, wants to continue down, but part of me is also terrified of dying if I do. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up oxygen, and we're going to just... I think what I'm most scared about is just something randomly being down here ready to murder me. <laughs> Not that thing, obviously. I'm at, I'm at like a big, big thing. Plant fragment. Okay, I don't have that yet. That'd be nice to to unlock. I didn't use that in Subnautica either, which was less because I didn't want to, and more just because I didn't didn't live. I, well, here's the thing. I built it. I built like the thermal plant thing, but I didn't end up using it because I wasn't in. Like I built it and put it on the side, not thinking about it, because I was like, wait a minute, I'm not in that hot of a biome. This is not going to do anything for me. Okay, it's just another rock crawler thing okay so there's gold and titanium oh my god dude okay we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute it's ruby dude <gasps> laser cutter fragment what are you red feather fish let me, let me unlock you let me scan Come on, let me scan you. Jerk. Come here. You're coming with me. You look cool. New creature discovered. Yeah, I know thing. I'll grab another one of you. Why not? Oh, that's just another thermal plant fragment. Okay. Um We gotta. Shit. Which way did I come from? Okay. Warning. Probably wasn't this way because I would have noticed the oxygen remaining. thing here. <gasps> yes. That's what I was hoping to find. If I scan that or not yet. Warning. 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Can I plant this way, please? Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Fuck, I'm gonna die. Oxygen. I think this is the way I came from too, and I was just trying to get back. Oh no, it's not. Shit, this is not the way I came from. Grab me that, grab me that, grab me that, grab me that. New technology I'm gonna die. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it, I'm dead. Okay. Did it just... Oh no. Oh, okay, no, no. I thought it just spawned my sea truck down here with me. I was about to be really upset. Good news is, we aren't too far down from... Or too far away from our death. We just have to be really quick about this and not fuck up. I think had I, had I just gone down here immediately or gone into the sea truck first and then come back down, I probably would have survived. Or at least would have been able to be down there longer. Okay, so we follow we want to follow this path. I'm grabbing any rubies and diamonds I can. I'm gonna try to grab as many rubies and diamonds while I'm down here as I can. Because they're very, very difficult to find in this game. Like they're a lot harder to find in this game than they are in Subnautica 1, I've noticed. And uh I really don't want to lose. Uh, I really don't want to lose the opportunity right now to find them. Um not that, not that I, I really don't think I can get it later. I definitely can. I just, I want to get as much as I can while I'm down here. Also, the fact that we've already gotten this thing down to 50% is insane to me. I know my feather fish, come here. No, fishy. No, you're my fishy. You're staying with me. think that's everything god we we're getting a lot of things to check through so i'm gonna try not to open it until later i got a headlamp i saw that was what i grabbed right before i died for those of you who didn't notice so there are featherfish i think i had two of those on me so i'm making sure i, I stuff two when i leave okay okay there's more prawn suit stuff down here that must be what this is supposed to be for. This is supposed to be like a deep sea drilling thing. Um, so they have elevators for the prawn suits. And then they also have these big um, elevator type things to carry the ore back up. What I find really odd, though, is, like, the ore is being kind of carried out in, like, big chunks rather than in the tiny pieces that you actually get when you drill this stuff. Dude, there's another drill arm. There's so much ore down here, though, which is the nice thing. So, um, I'm going to try to find... I, I wish I had a beacon. I really wish I had a beacon right now. This might be the situation... Where I should probably make. Oh shit, no, not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to go eat. This is probably the, this is the situation where I should probably make like a beacon and then mark this area so I can come back to it later. Because this area is 100% worth coming back to over and over again. Can I. Game. Okay. Apparently, the game doesn't want to let me hit that. Another site found. There we go. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Game. Signal location uploaded. Okay, to I don't know why it doesn't want to let me get the drill arm right there, but okay. It's kind of annoying. Oh, there's another prawn suit right there. Hopefully it lets me scan this one. Let me scan that, no problem. Well, let me scan the goddamn drill arm, though. I need one more fucking uh, prawn suit. Oh, 
Oh, I need a laser cutter for that. Well, just gave me something to scan, didn't it? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, there is more plants down here than what I initially saw the first time. So they had like a whole deep sea drilling. After seeing the movie Underwater, I would not want to try this. I don't really want to release Cthulhu. Just saying. It's my personal preference. The blue featherfish? Oh, it's just normal featherfish. Okay. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here because we're going to go do a few things. Um, hi, Alan. Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and okay. socket points. Is there anything you don't find primitive? <laughs> Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. Alan, you're really harsh on my vibe right now, bro. My body is my own, and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. No more, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Do you think we're at the point where we're gonna make a new base though? I don't think I wanna make the moon pool at the small base. I wanna, cause once I make the moon pool, I kinda like settling down, like that's where I wanna be. So I feel like if I make it the small base, it's just gonna, I'm gonna be stuck there. So I think what we're gonna do is pretty soon we're gonna find a new area to make the base at because I would like to have my base with the moon pools not being so um, in the safe, safe area again, like last time. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Back to the base, to the base, to the base. Which also means we might be waiting to make the prawn suit just for a little bit. I should probably go clean out my fish tank, huh? Alright, we'll, we'll clean the fish tank out once we clean out my inventory, because my inventory is full. Thank you, ship. We got a lot of shit in that in that run right there. That was that was not too bad. Um, let's grab some salt. Go make some cured food. Those of you wondering why did I not cure both of those red feather fishes? Because I want to go put one of them in the tank I have over here. Because I thought they looked really cool. Fish away, put the water away. And yes, I know what you guys are probably gonna say. You have a shit ton of rubies already. Do you really need to pick those up? Frankly, no, I didn't. I chose to. Um, it was less of a situation of I needed those and more of a situation of I wanted to make sure I had plenty 
when the time came that I was going to need more. Alright, so we also got some new shit unlocked. Obviously, we got some cooked by the fish stuff unlocked. Uh, we got the headlamp unlocked, which I really want to see what that does. I don't know, maybe I should make the compass at some point. Uh, we also got the laser cutter unlocked, which I need crystalline sulfur for, so I'm going to have to find a boom boom fish somewhere. Maybe the storage. Oh, I do have the drill. Okay, okay, I do have the drill arm unlocked, as well as the storage module, which means... I can make the first three most important things that I need for this. Uh, the first depth module, the storage module, and the drill arm, which are the most important. I'm not kidding. For those of you who have prawns, who, who know what prawns are like, the things you want the quickest are those three. I would say they're probably like the three most important you can pick up. We also got the moon pool, the floodlight, the thermal plants. Um, what else do we get? We got the... Recycles items into... Oh, okay. We got the Recyclotron thing. Wait, I have that, but I, I don't even have the Ion Battery unlocked yet. Because that's late game. Like, the Ion Battery is something you unlock at the end of the first game that you don't really get to use. Um, by the way, for those of you wondering, you really don't get to use the ion battery. It's just, it's kind of unlocked at the end of the game. We'll keep Q59 unlocked, but we're going to mark it in orange, be, uh, red, because we've already gotten it. And there's all this crap. way if you ever want to hear them talk again. Alright. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah. Alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. God, what a douche. Oh, shit, we're gonna run out of salt, aren't we? Oh, no, we're about to run out of salt, you guys. Oh, no. Okay, secured boomerang. Here's the bind bush. Do I have another one of those? Oh, shit. That was the only one. I was going to put that in there because it looks cool. Too late. Alright, hold up. Let me um, make water first. I'll cure all the fish I can with what salt I have left. And then after that, we'll uh, just cook it so I can eat that. I know this is probably boring, you guys don't really want to watch me cure fish constantly, and I'm sorry, but it is important. I, I realized when I was playing Subnautica 1, uh, and I'm sure you guys realize this as well, I was not, was not getting food and water enough to actually like help me out in the long run. God damn. I wish I would have gotten more, gone to get more salt now, Jesus, that was a lot of cooked fish that I just made. Cooked, cooked, two things of water, uh, we'll put the cured fish away, we'll put my water away, we're going to save it right there, because that is going to be the end of the episode, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, I will see you all in the next one, stay golden, peace.